to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Alexander's poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. Kid Dynamite's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. minutes of this 10 round fight able to block that away it was targeted for his head blocks that punch the left hand to the head and now he's targeting upstairs Just missed that shot up top. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. We're winning these fights. Here we go. Round two is underway. Missed the target with that hook. Good job on the two-punch combo by Pac-Man. Big Dynamite's ripped by an uppercut. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Good block there by Kid Dynamite. To the head he goes with a left hand. Keep 
Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. That was a fine block by Kid Dynamite. That man's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Is a sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Xander's once again the target of a hook. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Last 10 seconds. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. I need to take some Kid Dynamite's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Halfway through round number four. Relax, relax. Alexander's completely missing the jab, and when that's not there, well, you're going to dug yourself a big hole. Now, that's like saying, I want to go swimming. Guess what? There's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. A well-placed left hand up top. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Hit Dynamite's left, landing well. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. with a good 
solid uppercut. Alexander, 60 right. seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now, he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. Pac-Man's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. Halfway into round number five here. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Cut. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. And we are underway for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? That's what you want from his there left hand. Go. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Pac-Man. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Kid Dynamite isn't even moving at all right now. He's not doing anything. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Yeah. Final ten seconds of the sixth round. And we come to the end of the round. Alexander's back in his corner after that last round comes to an end. A round that I think he won. And we haven't said that about previous rounds. But that one, clearly, I think he won. Yeah, he made some adjustments. You know, his attitude is a little bit better. He's more aggressive. But, you know, you can be more aggressive and you can lose the rounds even bigger. Because now you're walking into more punches. He's making adjustments. He's starting to move his head a little bit. He's starting to pick up certain opportunities from counters. He's starting to look like a smarter fighter now. Kid 
Dynamite just playing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the legs. Yeah, he is. And that is one of the facets. The other is to block, the other is to move your head. And right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Pac-Man's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Ooh, Missed with the headshot. How about that bombs away to the head by Alexander? How about that left hand? Big uppercut right on the mark. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Use the ring. Use the ring. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And round seven. Alexander's efforts in the last few rounds, stringing a few consecutive rounds together, have been marvelous. As we start round eight, he's closed the gap on your scorecard. I think he's in this. I agree with you. Not only in it, he's taking control. It's looking good for him. His future's looking bright. a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own Move your head. 90 seconds to go halfway through round eight a knifing left hand by kid dynamite able to cover up along the belt line blocks that one Kid Dynamite's found exactly what he likes on the inside, and it is that power punch of choice, the uppercut. Now what he has to do is add something to it. It picks the head up, put something on top, and finish the job. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Kid Dynamite. Alexander's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Pac-Man's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counterpunch landed with some success. Alexander's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Pac-Man's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Alexander's able to land a good, solid left hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Good flush shot upstairs. That's great stuff. 
He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Alexander. Keep moving. Keep moving. Not able to land the headshot. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that's the end of round nine. Pac-Man's in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing, but he can go out there and still take this. Oh, it's been a good one tonight. But one more round to go. Here it is, the final go-round. Pac-Man's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Alexander. Scores up top with a left. Pac-Man's opponent has to be conscious of the uppercut. I mean, it's been a consistent weapon of choice. Well, it's the right weapon on the inside because he's splitting the guard. It's right there for him. And he's hitting him with the floor. What I mean by that is he's actually using the ground. He's grounded. He's got his feet down. He bends his knees. And all the power is coming from below. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Let's go, hit Both men digging in with uppercuts. Last 10 seconds of the fight. That's it. That's it. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's set it up to the ring to find out. Kid Dynamite, your winner. Two judges overcoming the one who saw the draw. Just not much to separate these two all night long. So a majority decision goes in his favor. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.